all right what's up y'all so this time i'd like to show you guys how to make uh, what would be like a hairstylist flyer here we have a picture of a nice beautiful woman with a nice hairstyle um obviously these type of flyers work best if you have some high quality nice looking photos are gonna look the best um so if you're in this in this uh mindset of trying to get one of these done First thing you want to do is make sure your pictures are going to be nice, like, you know, presentable photos, like stay away from messy looking pictures. And we all know a bad photo when we see one and we all know a good photo when we see one. So for this particular design, I'm going to make this a three by four, it's 3.25 by 4.25. And just for reference, uh, this size of a flyer is like maybe twice as big as a business card and half the size of a flyer. So it's in, it's that in between size between a regular size party flyer, which is like a four by six and a business card, which is like a two by three. So it's like in the middle of those. And it's a good, it's a good design size to use because um, it's, it's, small enough for one to fit in their pocket so that's pretty uh pretty detailed and it's it's big enough where that you can fit enough information so it's bigger than a business card in the sense where you can you know put more info on there and it's small enough to fit in your pocket so this is a good size to use so the first thing i, I want to do right now is just take a look at this photo this photo was like maybe it has some blues and greens, some golds and some reds and like peaches in it and stuff like that. So we want to try to see how we can blend this in with the rest. And I actually want to make this or this flyer horizontal. So I'm going to rotate it clockwise and then I'm going to turn her back the other way. And I'm gonna make, make this a little bit bigger. Actually, I'll put her to the right side. Um, and we're just gonna go for like a clean corporate sort of, uh, sort of look here. So I think the background I wanna try to do is maybe like this color. issue with her hair so there's this issue where the cut couldn't really get into the hair that well I wonder if we could fix this I'm gonna duplicate this and then what I'm gonna do is control click on it and then I'm gonna inverse my selection and then just hit backspace to see if any of this white will go away and did a pretty good job of it. So now I'm gonna go to the layer, and I'm gonna go to matting. I'm gonna defringe it for about maybe two pixels, two or three pixels to get even more of that out of there. It's still there a little bit, but I can live with this. Um, if I couldn't get that out, and this is something I'll probably do anyway, I would have just taken a soft brush, blown it up to a decent size, there we go. That way you don't even notice it really at all. Oh, that's dope right there. So let's say this is a Sheila's salon. Let's put Sheila in a cooler font than this. Let's just go through our fonts and see what we got. We want to stick to clean fonts. To me, I'm kind of I'm kind of boring. I stick to like the same few different sorts of fonts. So, and the reason I do that is because I I know it works. There's so many fonts out here that that you can choose from, and you can spend all your time looking for fonts. And there's a lot. Then I'm I'm a person that's done that, and I don't even use a lot of the fonts that I download. So. I'm gonna pass on that this time, as far as 
downloading a new font. But let's see. Here it'll be somewhere. I'm gonna do a mixture of uh, serif sans serif here. I actually, uh, oh, I have an idea for this text. I'm gonna do a rectangle tool, I stretch it about the size of that. I don't want it to be white, I want it to be the same color as Sheila. And then I'm gonna take let's see, beauty salons. Same color. I'm gonna take beauty salon and I'm gonna select both of these layers together by holding the command key and clicking. You can select multiple layers at once. So I'm gonna take this layer here, and that, that looks cool. But I think I want to, here, let's make sure it's centered. What I think I want to do is I'm going to control click on that and get rid of that. And then I'm going to click down on my rectangle box and hit the mask button. But my mask is backwards how I would like it to be. So I'm just going to hit command I to invert it. And now we have like a, it's like the words are punched through the rectangle. I think that's a cool look for this. This is Sheila's Beauty Salon. Um, now nah, it might have her phone number on here, or not might, it, it absolutely would. This is a made up number, folks. Please don't dial it and ask for Sheila. We want the number to be prominent and easy to read. say like a schedule an appointment today or schedule the long word let's say book book an appointment And then honestly, like the most, I think I think the white looks good, or maybe just the red. Let's see, let's try red again. Oops. Yeah, the red is dope. And let's see. Uh, First time clients receive 20% off. A lot of times on like a flyer such as this one. There's like some type of, I mean the flyers in general, they have like some type of incentive for you to give them a call. I'm gonna give this like a, like a coupon sort of look to it. We have our rectangle tool selected. We're not gonna fill it though, we're gonna stroke. And with our stroke, we're gonna do like a dotted line. Now that dotted line isn't quite what I'm looking for, so let's see, more options. Oh, actually make this. this sort of like not that they have to cut it out or anything but we have like this sort of coupon thing happening here
And I mean, if they're based in Detroit or whatever, we could use like a. Just to like spruce the background up a bit. Steal some uh, beautiful Detroit photography. Okay, that's for sale. I'm not gonna steal that. Okay, let's see. Um, there's one. 1920 by 1090. Ooh, a little bit on the large side. Definitely don't want this to really stand out too much. Just maybe a little bit. And maybe even bring it up to here. Yeah, that's dope right there. And then down here, one more thing I want to try out. I'm going to do... So many different looks you could get. Hmm. I think I want to do like a, let's see. Select the circle. And we'll do, whoops. Select the marquee circle. like what you know first time clients receive 20% off let's make this stick out a little more oh get 20% off in there Sheila's Beauty Salon uh, oh yeah an address 1234 Fake Street obviously I've already given you guys a fake number that you might call if I want to give you a fake street that you might visit some uh some beauty flyers it'll say like things that they specialize in so it could be like specializing in hair restoration uh, braids locks hair restoration hair color I don't, I don't even know what like hair restoration really is. It just sounds like a thing that stylists would do. 
So instead of having the this be so large, you could have that. Move these up here. Just giving you guys different ideas. You could have one. Well, your flyer. This is a, a nice clean flyer, like, you know, that would work very well in a beauty salon or as like a, a personal um, hairstylist that maybe works mobily or, you know, that type of thing. So it's just to give you an idea how to make something look dope. Um, here, let's put these two together as if it's a logo I want to put. Gradient overlay. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. I think that's cool. I could go with this being on or off, either or. It doesn't really. It's not a bother to me. It's an addition to that it makes it look nicer. But what I would usually do is like send it to the person both ways and let them decide. So that's pretty much the basics of getting like a hairstylist flyer down. You get some photo examples of the hair and very nice, clean and legible fonts and just really directly getting a point across to the viewer, making it very simple for them to understand like, oh, okay, this is a hairstylist. I can book an appointment by calling this number. This is where it's located at. And this is the deal I'll get if I book with them. It's pretty much that simple. So appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully you check out the next one. Thanks a lot. Peace.